Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the Job Aptitude Testing website, howtobecome.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a McCaig Aptitude Assessment Test. So if you have a McCaig Mental Agility Test or an Aptitude Assessment coming up, then please make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to help you to pass. To achieve that goal, this is what we'll cover. We'll start off by going through the different types of McCaig test questions that may come up during your test. We'll then cover the step-by-step -step instructions on how to tackle McCaig style assessment test questions, plus we'll have a look at essential tips to help you pass your MMAT at the very first attempt. And finally, I'll tell you where you can instantly access over 330 McCaig test practice questions and the fully worked answers. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your aptitude tests by giving you brilliant answers and practice to the toughest McCaig test questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at the numerical reasoning tests first. So let's dive straight into that McCaig style numerical reasoning questions. Question one is this, 18 divided by nine plus six equals question mark. Now is the answer A2, B4, C6, D8 or E10? Now during the numerical reasoning part of the McCaig assessment tests, you will have to answer 15 questions that test your mathematical ability. The questions will cover areas such as mental arithmetic, percentages and word problems. During this assessment, you will not be able to use a calculator, but you are permitted to use a blank piece of paper to help you with your calculations. Let's start off by working this one out together. Step one, we need to work out the calculation in the brackets first. So if you remember back to your school days, we always work out the calculations in brackets first. Therefore, you would need to start off by doing this, 18 divided by nine, which gives us two. Finally, you would then need to do the calculation of two plus six, which gives us our answer of eight. So the correct answer option was D, eight. Now there are 15 math questions in this test and the main goal is to assess how you process numerical data like percentage calculations, multiple step word problems, series complications, arithmetic calculations and so on. So now is your turn. Please put your answer to question two in the comment section below the video for marking. I replied to every single person who leaves a comment on my channel. So please do put your answer below and I will mark it for you and give you further help if you need it. Question two, 56 divided by eight times by one equals what? Does it equal A, one, B, six, C, seven, D, eight or E, nine? I'm going to give you 15 seconds on the timer to work this out starting now. Great, how did you get on? Don't forget to put your answer in the comment section below. If you do need more time, make sure you do pause the video and take as much time as you need. You can always improve your speed by practicing more questions like these under time conditions later on. Okay, let's now move on to a percentage style question. Again, this isn't too challenging at all, but if you aren't used to answering these type of questions very quickly under time conditions, you'll want to make sure you can master them. So question three is this, what is 55% of 400? Is it A, 105, B, 205, C, 210, D, 215 or E, 220? Now to work out the answer, we can follow a very simple strategy. Step one, you can start off by working out what 50% of 400 is. In other words, what is half of 400? So 50% or half of 400 is 200. Next, we work out what 5% of 400 is by doing this. I like to work out what 10% is. So 10% of 400 is 40. And therefore we then just need to halve that result. So whenever you work out what 10% is, and to do that, you just move that decimal place by one. So we take away a zero from the 400 in this instance, giving us 40. And then we know 5% is just half of 10%. So we just halve our answer. 
So 40 divided by two would be 20. So we know 5% is 20. And therefore the final step of our calculation is to finally add the two answers together to get 55% of 400. So 200 plus 20 is 220, making the correct answer E. Now, if you need to rewind this and rewatch that again and follow those steps step by step, please do so. Make sure you get those foundations right because now it is your turn. I want you to have a go at a question yourself. Please put your answer to question four in the comment section below and I'll mark it for you. And if you do need any further help, let me know there. Okay, question four is this. Daniel and Sally buy a house together for £160,000. If they need to raise a 25% deposit in order to buy the house, how much is the deposit in pounds? Is it A, 16,000, B, 40,000, C, 42,000, D, 32,000, or E, 8,000? Now I'm going to give you 15 seconds again, but in reality, you'll want to get faster than this. You'll want to be able to answer these questions in under 15 seconds. Don't worry if you need more time for now. It's best to pause the video and take all the time that you need. Make sure you get the answer correct and then you can always practice more and more questions to increase your speed. And I'm gonna tell you later on in this video exactly where you can get over 300 practice questions. Okay, your 15 second timer starts now. You're doing brilliant. Let's move on to another practice question. Question five, Mark wants to buy a car which is priced at £3,500. If he asked the salesman for a 10% discount, how much will the price be if the salesman agrees the discount? Is it A, B, C, D or E? 15 seconds on the timer starting now. Great, don't forget to put your answer in the comment section below and if you need any further help, let me know there. Let's now move on to the verbal reasoning part of the McCaig MMAT. You will have to answer 17 questions in this to test your understanding of words, patterns and comprehension. And just before we take a look at those verbal reasoning questions, at any point during this tutorial, and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner and head over to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get access to 330 McCaig aptitude test preparation style questions, including the ones we're covering right now, plus the fully worked answers and strategies to pass each question type to make sure you are the standout candidate. Okay, now as I mentioned, the McCaig assessment tests include verbal reasoning assessments where you may have to identify a relationship between words, select which word is the odd one out, or form a logical conclusion from a passage of text or statement. So let's take a look at a question. Question six, which of the following is the odd one out? Is it A, Daisy, B, Rose, C, Lily, D, Sunflower, or E, Petal? From this list here, which one would you choose? Well, all the items here are related and they often will be when answering these type of questions, but one option will not be the same as the rest. For example, all of these options are types of flowers, except one, which is an element of a flower. Did you guess it? Well, it's E, petal. Okay, I want you to have a go at a few of these questions yourself under timed conditions. Please put your answers in the comment section below the video for marking, thank you. Question seven, which of the following is the odd one out? Is it A, jog, B, run, C, sprint, D, sit, or E, walk? You have just 12 seconds on the timer starting now. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Question eight, which of the following is the odd one out? Is it A, cat, B, dog, C, owl, D, horse, or E, elephant? 12 seconds starting now.
You're doing really, really well. Let's continue with our verbal reasoning practice, but let's take a look at a different type of question. Question nine is this. Mark is not as wealthy as Jane. Who has less money? Is it Mark, Jane, or both the same? I'm just gonna give you three seconds to answer this really quick fire. Let me know your answer below. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna give you one more just like that, just for an extra bit of practice. Question 10. Sadie's shoe size is seven and Mary's is nine. Who needs the larger size shoes? Is it Sadie, Mary, or both the same? Again, just three seconds to work this out. Quick fire, starting now. Brilliant, how did you get on? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with the correct answers and any further information if you need it. Let's now move on to the McCaig vocabulary assessment tests. Now during the vocabulary part of the McCaig assessment tests, you'll have to answer 18 questions that test your speed of thought in relation to English comprehension. These questions mainly focus on words that are antonyms, the opposite, or synonyms words that are similar. So let's have a look at these questions. Question 11. Scared is the opposite of aghast, confident, helpless, proficient. What answer would you choose? Well, scared means to be frightened of something, whereas confident is to be self-assured or certain of something. So the correct answer is, of course, B, confident. Okay, now I want you to have a go yourself. Feign most closely means injury, pretend, persist, or solo. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Let me know your answer in the comment section below. Great, did you get it? Let's move on to question 13. Ambiguous most closely means A, slogan, B, vague, C, favor, or D, gesture. You have five seconds on the timer starting now. Great, let's take a look at another one. Benevolent most closely means meadow, handy, asset, or kind. You have five seconds starting now. You're doing really well, so let's take a look at another one. Question 15. Candid most closely means angle, suntan, immune, or honest. Five seconds starting now. Okay, great. So the next thing to do is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now. Head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get access to over 330 McCaig preparation style aptitude test questions and fully worked answers to each question. You can literally have online access within two minutes from now, and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your next job aptitude test, and also, more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their aptitude tests and job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. If you have any questions regarding aptitude tests, please do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your assessment. Have a brilliant day.